How is the resultant created in in our structural analysis software? Here you can see the RFEM file with the activated drawing grid. You can define this in the project navigator under general. We click the new member button and see the defined member for the check. With these settings, you can calculate the structure without influencing the material's properties and self-weight. The grid points in the work window are spaced 1 meter apart. Let's start at the origin and move 6 meters along the x-axis. We then move up 4 meters. The roof now extends 3 meters to the right and 3 meters up and we have drawn the sketch from the previous example. Here, I have selected the wind load case and click the member load button. The load is set in the local z-axis direction where the local z-axis is perpendicular to the member. If we enter the load P of 0.24 kN per meter and click on the member, we see the load points in the wrong direction. Why? Considering the right-hand rule, we have entered the member direction in such a way that the x-axis, or the thumb, points diagonally downwards. Therefore, the z-axis, or our index finger, would also be oriented down. We add a negative sign to the load magnitude to get the correct load direction for wind suction. The member from the wall, however, points upwards. So our right hand thumb also points upwards and the index finger, or the local z-axis, points to the right. This is the correct direction. For this reason, a positive member load of 0.25 kN per meter is used. If the system is calculated, the error message appears, the model is not supported. This is due to the missing support. Action equals reaction. We will look at this topic in detail in a later video. In principle, all actions must be absorbed in a structural system so that a state of equilibrium is achieved. At this location, we select a fixed restraint that does not allow the system to move or rotate. Let's go back to the calculation. In the project navigator, click the resultant button at support reaction to display the resultant. As you can see, our FEM does not show the resultant of the actions directly, but that of the support reactions. The magnitude and the inclination of the resultant are equal, but in the opposite direction. We have now verified the resultant from the graphical and analytical methods also in a structural analysis software. You can see these two examples again in the previous videos. If we apply a different load or the wind pressure of 0.6 kN per meter to the left side, the resultant increases and also changes direction. We can begin to understand how the other loads influence the resultant's magnitude or direction. Graphically, the new loading F3 could be drawn in a force parallelogram with the first resultant. You get this total resultant by looking at the diagonal. Analytically, two more components, or F3V and F3H, would be added to the sum equation.
I hope you learned something new about the resultant in this video. See you soon at the next tutorial.